Uh, hello, today we're gonna be taking a look at the shader toggle add-on for reshade and that add-on allows us to create many presets for games such as, uh, and do many things such as doing a HUD, to a HUD toggle, uh, disable disabling effects inside the game, uh, removing foliage and all sorts of stuff. So to get started we're gonna click go to reshade.me click on download click on full support full add-on support it's gonna give us a warning because this uh, version of reshade is not uh, whitelisted on many anti-cheats or any anti-cheat by uh for that matter so we're gonna click on ok and it's gonna download the setup for us and next we're gonna go to the friends boma friends boma github and I'm gonna click on releases and I'm gonna click on 1.0.1 that's the latest one as of today and you're gonna scroll down and go to assets <coughs> right here we're gonna select the 64 or 32-bit version to know if your game is 64 or 32-bit gonna open up your task manager and you're gonna check to see if it's 32 bits if it says 32 it then it's 32 if it doesn't say anything and then it's a 64-bit uh, game so you can close this and you're gonna download the 64-bit version the game you're gonna use this on is Mad Max so Mad Max is a DirectX 11 game 64-bit so we're gonna install reshade like normal gonna open up it's gonna give us a warning again uh, because it's not uh, not a whitelisted version we'll click OK we're gonna click on browse gonna select the game exe I click on open I'm gonna click on next since I know this game is a DirectX 11 game I'm gonna click on next select it already uh, I'm gonna click on next because I don't want any presets and I'm gonna just gonna download the standard effects I'm gonna click on next and right here you can become a patron for reshade and it's gonna help crosshire uh, develop reshade even further so I'm gonna click on finish and right here we got the shader add-ons uh it's a, a here is the readme you can read it it's basically uh, uh this video tutorial is basically the same thing as this uh, readme file but it's always good to give it a, a read and and see if you have any doubts you just refer to the readme file so we're gonna go to the game folder at max right here and where is it next hello I'm gonna go to the Ed max folder right here and you can see we have the reshade.ini we have the reshade dll and the reshade shader folder and we're gonna just grab and drop the add-ons file the shader toggle dot add-on file on the same uh, folder that the game exe is this is referred on the on the uh, readme file so uh, the <clears throat> the Vulkan version of reshade the DLL is, is placed elsewhere uh, here's a little example for uh, Unreal Engine games where they are uh, most most times one one or two folders deeper than the first uh, the, the game the first folder of the game. I have a video on my channel showing how to find the actual game exe so you, you can watch, give that a watch and you won't be <laughs> so lost. So okay we're gonna drop the shader toggle add-on inside the game before uh, the game folder before opening the game. Uh, add-ons are not like shaders you cannot just drop them into a folder and reload reshade and it won't show up. You have to restart the game for the add-on to be enabled or disabled. Uh, so okay, so I'm gonna go to the game. I'm gonna start the game now. So okay, uh, right here we have the reshade uh, message saying to press home to start a tutorial. So we're gonna press it, press home and skip tutorial since we have lots of tutorials about shaders on the internet so okay here's the default reshade uh, the first page that you come across when you open it 
So here we have the add-ons tab. This one contains the depth, the depth buffer uh, settings, <laughs> I guess. I have a video on how to set up the depth buffer on, on games already. So <clears throat> we're gonna just uh, collapse this one. And right here we have the shader toggle add-on. So we have a few options here. The overlay opacity, this uh, add-on has its own little window where it shows information about the shaders that you're gonna toggle on and off. And this amount of frames to collect, this one is uh, how long the, the shader is gonna collect information about, the add-on is gonna collect information about the shaders that are active on the game. So for example, if you have, uh, for example, this smoke on his, his breath right here, this uh, mist, I don't know what it's called. It only shows up every so often. It's not like a constant effect, like the fire, for example. So you set up the amount of frames you collect, so you can you have a bigger window. So the sh the add-on has time to collect the when the shader is toggled on and off internally on the game, so it can store the shader, so you can toggle it on and off as uh, as you want. So the default is two fifty. So let's bring it back to default, uh, more or less. To 50. So here's the toggle groups. This is basically the groups that you're gonna you can make. So for example, if you want a, a group to disable only the, the lights or a group to only disable the HUD or only certain effects, you can create as many groups as you want. So right here you're gonna create the uh, the first group. I'm gonna click on edit. You're gonna let's make a HUD toggle. So HUD toggle and here you can edit the the hotkey so i'm gonna set it to f1 i'm gonna click on ok i'm gonna click on ok and you're gonna click on change shaders and it's gonna collect a bunch of shaders right here's the gui that i showed you that i told you about before you can uh, lower its opacity so you can see what's going on and we're gonna click on home to bring down the reshade menu and right here, the shader, the add-on is uh, has stored a bunch of shaders, and we can cycle through them to see what gets uh, enabled and disabled, so we can store them. So the default hotkeys, this is hard coded. Uh, there's currently no way to change them. It's one and two on the keypad to cycle through the pixel shaders, and four and five to cycle through the vertex shaders. And when you find a shader that you want to to keep in a group, you press either three for the pixel shaders or six for the vertex shaders. So I'm gonna make a HUD toggle. So I'm gonna disable the ammo counter down on the bottom right and the map on the bottom left and that the text and the and the target right there. So I'm just gonna click keep clicking on one until something happens, right? Right here you can see it disables a bunch of stuff so you're gonna find a bunch of odd stuff that you can toggle for example the the, the rim the lights there and stuff so you're gonna see a bunch of odd behavior don't you worry because it's not gonna be affected once you you toggle your shader on and off so i'm gonna just cycle through them real quick and when you see like what you want to disable be disabled you can add it to the group so oh yeah oh right there it's gonna disable the gun so I think it's just the gun yeah so I'm gonna add that one that is pixel shader number 67 I'm gonna click on 3 to add it to the group and you can see the the shader is now part of the toggle group so I'm gonna keep cycling through them to see if there's something else up oh, right there the map you see I'm gonna just add them to the shader group again oh the end there I don't think that's yeah that's the end and the text bunch of text yeah. so I'm just gonna add them to the yeah, to the shader tog the toggle group as well Oh, we got the circle and the waypoint, and there's a bunch of stuff missing as well, so... 
Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna add it. So I'll just keep cycling to just see if something else gets disabled. Yeah. Okay, let's just bring it back to one, zero, okay. And we're gonna cycle through, oh, we find it again on the vertex shaders. So we're gonna just disable the map, add it to the group again. We see the text again, we're gonna add it. And some other elements. Okay, so that was it. Uh, if you hold the control key, you can just cycle through the active shaders to see if something funky happens. Something else gets disabled. Apparently not. So yeah, that's that's great. So we're gonna bring up the reshade menu again. We're gonna click on done, and it's gonna uh, save quote unquote save this little preset for us and you're gonna click on save out toggle groups this will create a new file on your game folder it's called shader toggle.ini and right here you can see just close this stuff you have we have one group and those are the vertex hashes and the pixel shader hashes that we toggled off and right here you can see the group name, her toggle, and the toggle key, that's F1. That's all internal settings that get created as soon as you click on save. So we're gonna click on save. We can go back to reshade, do all the stuff that we normally do. And once you cl we close the reshade menu and we press the key that we created with the add-on, it's gonna uh, disable all the HUD elements. Sometimes, it might be a problem because the some elements were not being displayed while the add-on where it was collecting. Am I recording? Let me see. Yes, I am recording. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, so, like for example, if we go up this uh, this tower right here, and there's some other text, and was not collected during the the collection process of the add-on then we have to run the add-on again and edit this and change shaders and it's going to reload all the shaders we're going to toggle them on and off again and see what's going on we can create another uh, a new preset let's say we want to disable the whole world so we're gonna change it oh, uh, it's collecting the things again we're gonna click on edit we're gonna go there. let's say world and it's gonna be F2, and we're gonna just cycle through the effects until we can like, disable all the elements in the world. Let's see. Oh, we see fire, we add it to the group. Oh, we see some lights going on and off. Okay, so I think we run out of stuff. So we're gonna bring the reshade menu back again. We'll click OK, click OK, click Done, and we save it. So now when we press F2, <laughs> oh, did I save it? Oh, the home key, uh, edit, uh, F2, OK, and OK, and save group. Now it's on F2, so if we, <laughs> we can toggle the world view on and off. Yeah, you see the text there, it's also disabled. So yeah, that's basically how you use this add-on. It's really useful if you wanna take screenshots and there's like grass on the way or foliage, or there's a light that you want to disable. And that's basically it. You click on save, it's gonna be added to that INI. Close it. Nope. And go to the Mad Max folder and Oh, it's not updated. Let's close it. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I messed up because I left the file open. Let's save. 
and open it again. And there you go. A lot of a lot more stuff has been added. A uh, group, a uh, name world, and hot toggle, and the toggle key. And yeah, it's basically that's how you use this add-on to do all sorts of stuff. So have fun.